Hi guys, my name is Melinda Kiddo and I'm an independent distributor with It Works Global. And I'm here today to show you how to apply the ultimate body applicator to yourself. So this is perfect for those of you who might have ordered the wraps directly and you're trying it for the first time at home. So I'm just going to take you through step by step what you need to do and also just show you how to get the best results. So before you wrap, it's a good idea to have a nice hot shower and let's say you're treating your belly, uh, just give the area a good exfoliation and avoid using any soaps or lotions that might clog up your pores. We basically want nice, clean, fresh skin so that you get the best absorption from the lotion in the wrap. Now, when you order the wraps, they come to you in a box of four like this. And then inside, you get four individually packaged wraps. So the wraps are pre-treated, you don't need to do anything to them. You just basically take it out, open it up and apply it. So this is a dry wrap. So this is one that's already been used. I just want to show you some of the different ways that you can apply it. So most people will start by wrapping their belly. And as you can see, when we wrap that area, you've got quite good coverage from top to bottom and around the sides as well. So you can use a full wrap on areas like your belly, or if you wanted to target your thighs, for example, you could go all the way around on your thighs. Uh, some people also like to treat uh, their upper back as well with a full wrap. Um, it's really up to you where you use it. Then what you can also do if you want to target more specific areas is you can cut a single wrap in half. So basically we just run our scissors down that fold line and that gives you two pieces that you can apply to different areas. So if you wanted to target your love handles specifically, you can use half a wrap on each side and hit it in that direction. Um, a lot of people use half a wrap to get underneath their arms, so just apply it along like that. Uh, and some people also use half a wrap to get underneath your neck and chin. Uh, we also have like a lot of brides and bridesmaids who really want to target this area here because those strapless dresses can sometimes get a little bit of overhang. So again, you can just apply half a wrap and really get on that area that you want. So being able to cut it in half means that you can sort of do two areas uh, but smaller areas on different parts of your body. Uh, for your thighs as well, you might not necessarily need a full wrap to go all the way around. Maybe it's just your outer thigh that you want to target. And again, if you cut it in half, you can get half on each thigh. Um, and yeah, you're getting the exact area that you wanted to treat. So before you wrap, there's two things that you need to do. You need to take before and after photos and you also need to measure. We do both uh, because some people will see a noticeable difference on the measuring tape and other people will see a noticeable difference on photos or maybe for you it's both but it's important to do both so I just do a basic photo just on my phone uh, but you can use a proper camera just depending on what you have available and then we also take measurements so I've had some people that when we've remeasured they their measurements are exactly the same, but when you put their before and after photos next to each other, you can see a really noticeable difference in the texture and tightness of the skin. Like sometimes their belly button's in a completely different position or the folds of their skin have really reduced. So that's why the photos are important. Make sure you don't skip that step. Um, but the measurements can also show you results as well. So I'm gonna show you how to measure. To do that, I have to expose my own belly. So sorry for the post baby belly that you're about to see. But basically we lift up your shirt just up underneath your bra line and just lower your pants to expose the area that you want to cover. So when I'm measuring I do three different measurements and the first one we do right at the belly button line. Now one thing that I see a lot of people do is when we're about to measure they like suck their belly in. It's important to make sure that you let it all hang out um, because you want to get really accurate measurements. So we do one measurement at your belly button line write that measurement down and then one a little bit higher up so a few centimeters higher get that upper area there and then we also do one beneath the belly button as well so a few centimeters below the belly button when I'm doing this one I try and get it targeted at the, the biggest part of my belly okay now what we do is we actually mark where you've measured. So you'll see I've done this before. I've already taken my measurements and you'll see these little black texture marks. So I've done a mark above and below the tape measure. And I've done that on both sides. And that's so that when we remeasure afterwards, I can see exactly where I measured before so I'm getting accurate results. 
so make sure you write down the measurements of course and then we are ready to wrap so basically just cut the package open and take it out and you'll see it's already pre-treated and it just comes folded up so we just unfold and if you were cutting it in half you would stop there run your scissors along that fold and then you can place the two separate pieces wherever you need to but I'm using a full wrap today I'm just going to split it apart now when it goes on it's really cold <laughs> you hold your breath a little bit so I'm just going to place it on my belly and the good thing is, is that you can readjust it so you want to make sure that you get maximum coverage over the area that you want to target now you'll see I'm actually fairly short waisted so the wrap for me covers me fully top to bottom so if you're a little bit taller uh, you'll get you'll get good coverage but you might want to sort of slide it up or down depending on where your main trouble spot is so I'm just going to smooth it all the way out off as well and I just want to try and get rid of all the excess uh, like air bubbles and stuff like that now you'll notice that I did my texture marks on my back and that's to make sure that when I put the wrap on that I'm not actually covering up those marks because sometimes the, the wrap can rub off your mark and you want to make sure that you've got that so that you can compare it later. All right, so now that it's applied, I'm just going to grab a little bit of Glad Wrap and this is just to hold it in place. So this is always fun trying to wrap yourself. <laughs> it's a little fun exercise that you probably don't do every day. So I'm going to try and get fairly firm coverage. And what I want to do is I basically just want to hold this in place. Get it across nice and tight. And you can see I've got a bit exposed up the top, so I just want to make sure that I really cover that up. Now, the main thing that you want to do is just to make sure that the wrap isn't going to scrunch up when you're sitting down, because you're wearing it for 45 minutes. So you want to make sure that it's covered top to bottom, fairly firm, and this just holds it in place. So some people uh, like to use a tight tank top or maybe like a sports bandage or something to keep it in place. Um, I just prefer the Glad Wrap because it, it helps to sort of contain the mess <laughs> a little bit as well and it keeps it in place without any extra worries. So then you can just pull your clothing down over the top and you're good to go. So you need to wear the wrap for at least 45 minutes. Um, some people like to leave the wraps on for longer than that. So um, generally your first wrap we say just leave it on for 45 minutes then maybe if you're doing a few more wraps over time the next ones you can leave on for two hours or some people even leave them on overnight um, totally up to you generally all you need is the 45 minutes in that time you've got um, good absorption of the gel into your skin um, now a really important thing to do while I'm wrapped I need to drink water so I'm going to drink at least uh, this amount of water in my 45 minutes um, just keep on drinking continuously and this is really important to keep up your water over the next three days um, you're stirring up a lot of junk from your fat cells when you try this wrap so you actually need to drink the water to help flush everything out of your system so if you don't drink water uh, everything that you've got moving can just sort of settle back down in place so this is one of the most important things lots of water over the next couple of days at least one to two liters if not more um, just keep on drinking continuously throughout the day for the next three days but also while you're wearing the wrap now now there's three things that can happen with your wrap so the first is that you take the wrap off and you see immediate results so maybe that's on the tape measure or maybe it's in your photos you might see a really noticeable difference in the tightness the texture of your skin and maybe the measuring tape shows a, a noticeable loss uh, in which case hooray you've seen awesome results in just 45 minutes and you've really seen the power of the wrap working now it is progressive results over the next three days so even if you see immediate results you'll see that continue to improve over the next 72 hours now the second thing that can happen, this is what happens to me. So when I take this wrap off, um, if it's the same as the previous wraps I've done, I'll remeasure and my measurements will be exactly the same and I'll take another photo and my photos will be exactly the same. That can happen to a few people. Now, um, remember the results are progressive. So whilst I don't see a result when I take the wrap off straight away, my results tend to appear a few days later and that might be the same case for you. 
So with the last wrap that I did, uh, when I took the wrap off, my measurements were the same. I measured the next day and my measurements were still the same. And now if that was you and you were trying your very first wrap, you might go, oh, well, this thing doesn't work and you might give up. Don't give up, keep on drinking water and keep on checking your measurements. Um, I think last time I forgot to measure on the second day, um, but then it was on the third day around about the 72 hour mark that I re-measured and I'd lost a really noticeable difference. So make sure you don't give up. If you don't see results straight away, keep on drinking lots of water and keep checking your results over the next few days and you will see them increase. Okay. Now, the third thing that can happen is going to sound really bad. But sometimes when you remeasure or you take another photo, you might actually be bigger than before you wrapped. Sounds horrible, I know. <laughs> but basically what can happen is because you're stirring up a lot of junk when you're wrapping, you can actually get a bit of a bloating sensation. So your measurements might show that you've expanded a little bit and your photos might show that you're a little bit bigger. If that's the case for you, don't freak out. A bloat is actually one of the best things that we can see happen. And the reason being is it probably just means that in your system you maybe had a little bit more that you needed to get rid of. So again, keep up the water, keep on drinking over the next few days. Generally, the people who have a bloating effect will actually get the best results over time because they had more to get rid of in the first place. So if you see a bloat, don't freak out, drink your water and keep on remeasuring and you should see some really awesome results in the next few days. Okay, now I can start to feel this wrap really working now. So you might notice a few sensations while you're actually wearing the wrap. So when you put it on, it feels cold and then it kind of warms up a little bit uh, and it kind of transitions between that warm but cold sensation, kind of similar to like a deep heat or a Denkerub type, um, like, like those sports uh, lotions. So if you get that sort of warm but cold but warm but cold <laughs> sort of feeling, then that's perfectly normal. And some people also get like a little bit of a tingly sensation in the wrap as well. Again, that's totally normal. That's just showing you that the wrap's actually doing its job. Okay. Um, all right. So after my 45 minutes, uh, we can take off the wrap. So to do that, um, I'm just going to lift up again and I'm just going to cut through that glad wrap, um, remove it, uh, take the wrap with it. And then we just throw that one in the bin because that wrap is, has been used and it's finished. Um, you will have a little bit of excess left on your skin, so just give that like a really good uh, like massage into your skin as though it's moisturiser, like just keep on rubbing until it disappears and you can also like spread the excess further around. So if you want to maybe get a little bit down on your bum, you can do that as well, um, but just give it a good rub in until it's completely absorbed. Then you need to re-measure again and you also need to take your after photos and make sure that you put those photos side by side with your before shots because you really want to see that noticeable difference, okay? And for the next few days, keep on drinking lots of water. That really is the most important thing and continue to check your progress. Now, we love to hear your results. I always get so excited when I hear from somebody and go, oh my God, you should see my photos. I've lost a massive difference. So we want to hear from you. We want to know how, the, how your app has gone. So take your measurements, take your photos, and then get back in touch with us and tell us how you've gone. Um, yeah, I can't wait to hear what sort of results you've got. Uh, if you have any questions at all before you wrap or after you've wrapped, give us a buzz. We're happy to hear from you and more than happy to help with any questions that you have. All right, guys, good luck, happy wrapping, and I can't wait to hear how you go. Thanks, guys.